take the time to think about how that might impact or what how I was like, I didn't want to hit the real life. No, I'm asking you. Like, oh. Yeah. Hey, Jeff. Hey, That was Brookdale Community College professor Howard Finkelstein, who apparently asked a black student if he knew the N-word, called a student veteran a murderer, and then told that student you just saw, fuck your life, when the student argued that sexual harassment affects both women and men. The left loves to talk about the intersectionality of oppression, but what about the intersectionality of stupidity? So let's start with the black student, Joey Smith, who told me Finkelstein asked him, do you know what an N-word is? He said it about two or three times. He was so comfortable saying it, and I'm the only African American in the class. It felt a little bit weird. Two or three classes after that, he says it again, and then he said it another time. Finkelstein apparently changed the subject when Smith called him out on his use of the word. Okay, so the question here is not whether Joey knows what an n-word is. The question is how does Brookdale hire someone who is so culturally incompetent that he wonders whether a black American knows that word and does that wondering out loud in class, using the n-word himself multiple times. And this isn't some white supremacist professor either. According to Joey and another student, Chris Lyle, Finkelstein loves to talk about white privilege, spends most of class in one-on-one -on -one arguments with Lyle, and uses opinion articles as course material. Oh, and these comments he allegedly made to a student veteran also hint that he's probably not right-wing. Finkelstein called the veteran a murderer, Lyle told me. He also said he takes pride in killing innocent people for money. We have 22 veterans a day who commit suicide. If anything, we should be helping these people out, not throwing them under the bus. Unless throwing him under the bus fits your agenda of one happy, harmonious, stateless utopia, that is. Joey tells me the student veteran hasn't come to the past few classes, and that he believes he is considering legal action against the school. Now, Lyle apparently reported Finkelstein to Brookdale administrators, but it doesn't seem like the school scolds the professor. No, Brookdale's student conduct and compliance manager Christopher Jun apparently told Lyle he can't sleep at night knowing the student owns guns with this video, video circulating around the internet. They are more concerned about my gun ownership that I obtain legally than this professor's conduct. Wow. MSNBC and CNN need to check in with Brookdale the next time they hire spin masters. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.